Nearly 60 Angie's List members submitted photos and explanations about the clutter that was overwhelming their homes. Kurt Keljo's story put him in the winner's circle, and Melanie Dennis of highly rated Neat Streak Professional Organizing in Columbus, Ohio, answered his call for help. There was a mixture of nervousness and excitement when I started out. I really knew things were not where they needed to be. I was really looking forward to having it done and say, wow, this looks nice. I knew that there was stuff I didn't need, and I knew that part of the obstacle was I just don't like to throw things in a landfill, and I just know, didn't know where else they could go. Things that I move along can be a blessing to somebody else. I've had a hard time like getting rid of clothes that don't fit me anymore because I think, oh, man, they might fit me someday. And then I thought, well, but wait a sec. There's somebody who they would fit right now, and, and why don't they might as well get some use out of them. I concluded that the floor is not an option, and to just know that I just can't put anything on the floor has made a huge difference, that nothing goes there, and as a result, it either goes back where it's supposed to be or it goes towards the wash. That's been extraordinarily helpful. The biggest thing I was surprised about is I had a ton of socks. Um, and I had four, four drawers of socks, you know, and, and more, and it's like, how, how in the world did that happen? You know, that was kind of shocking. One of the things that I also learned about the day is that dealing with clutter isn't as much about being neat as it is about figuring out how much you really need and where it goes. <laughs> and that really helped me too.